kind of reward on the phone. What is it? Trucker and Jeremy realize that the guy who's been staying in Donnelly's apartment is the same guy who's been terrorizing the Alden family. You gotta be kidding me. So they know who he is. Buck. It's my husband. It's impossible. He's dead. That's what you and I thought when we left Kuwait. But if he's alive, he is here and he's on a revenge mission. Fuck, I don't understand. Are you involved in this in some way? He called himself Joe, and I promise you, something told me that wasn't his name. I knew I was right, Jeremy. I knew I knew Dinah Lee shouldn't be feeling sorry for this guy. Truck and watch it! All right, all right. Sorry, sorry, we're okay. Okay. Listen, everything about the guy was wrong. Well, there's nothing more you could have done. Yeah, but from day one, Jeremy, from day one, I just had a bad feeling about this guy. I should have gotten Dinah Lee out. You're very focused on Dinah Lee, aren't you? Yeah, I guess I am. Kind of, kind of getting involved. Well, pull over. No, we don't have time for that. Pull over before he force you to. Oh, what's your rush, hey. trucker? What, are you late for a Christmas no, no, party? No, man, it's an emergency. Can you get on the radio and get someone over to Dinah Lee Mayberry's apartment? She lives above Pins Bowling Alley fast. Come on, hurry. I have seen this guy before. Where? Right here in this hospital when they brought you in. He was hanging around in the trucker and Dinah Lee. I've seen him at Pins. Really? Harrison. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, when? Okay, thanks. Car at the PD just got a call from a patrol car. Some guy named uh, McKenzie insisted they contact me. Trucker McKenzie. Yeah. It appears our man's been renting Dinah Lee Mayberry's apartment. What? Dr. Hubbard, help me out of this bed. Agent Harrison, you put any pressure on that leg and you risk losing it. I'll take my chances. Please let me go. Before you have satisfied your curiosity, I could not be that rude or unfair, I believe. Behind that door is your past, Dinah Lee. Now it is time for you to say goodbye to it. Visits downstairs. Natalie! You see? He's not very big on conversation, is he? Why are you doing that? Natalie! For every question of the answer, there is a price for the guilty. Now, it is Curtis's time to pay. No! Just 
Shut up! She's gonna wake up and she's gonna scream! So I will die a righteous death, pussy cow! If I have to tie you to this bed in chains, you are not leaving this room. I gotta get out of here. And you need to work on your bedside manners, Doctor. And you need to work on your arrogance. There must be a hundred FBI agents in this town, not to mention the entire Corinth Police Department, all working to catch this man. And you think that you're the only one who can do the job right. You're a doctor. Haven't you ever had a patient worth sacrificing something for? Yes, every day. But you almost sacrificed your leg. That is sufficient dedication to the cause. If I could have been faster, but just, if I just checked out the garage, if, I, if I'd seen if the gun. If you were a magician. I could have done my job better. How? It happened in an instant. I wasn't fast enough. I, just like before, I blew it again. Again? This has happened before? I wasn't prepared then. And someone lost a whole lot more than their leg. Who, oh, Charles? Who, who was hurt? They say you, uh, you learn from your mistakes. Well, they are wrong. What happened? It happened a long time ago. Hey, Mom. I can have a minute with Mr. Harrison. Got a guy to talk. I'll see you later. I don't want you to stay too long. Okay. How's it going, man? I've had better days. Yeah, man, hospitals are a drag. You get to sit around all day thinking about the big picture Look, or Frankie, something. I know you want to just hang out and shoot the bull, but I'm really not up for it. Maybe you are, man. Maybe talking to do you some good. I don't think so. Well, I overheard you talking with Mom. You started to say something, then you stopped. I'm tired, Frankie. Why are you here? I know about your fiance. What? Well, I was doing some research on you for the video project, and I was going through some old newspapers, and I found an article about your fiancé getting shot. Man, it just jumped out at me. And there was also a picture of you as, as a law student. But who do you think you are? I was just reading, man. I was just checking I you out. I don't care what you were doing. You ever hear about privacy? Well, I like mine. I, I mean, I understand, man. I know it hurts. And I know what it's like losing somebody, all right? Yo, man, we the same like that. Not even close. You think because you lost your father we're blood brothers? Well, we're not. You got that? Look. Frankie. It's been a long day. And lying here just gets you to thinking. I suppose we do have a lot in common. Maybe that's why it hit a nerve. It's kind of like, you know, I, I could dig where you're coming from. No. It's kind of like digging up the past at the wrong time. You follow? Okay. Now that, uh, that article you found, it's between us. Deal? Oh, I'm sure Mom wouldn't mind. You know? It's between me and you, Frankie. Don't tell anyone. Especially not your mother. I know it's a lot to comprehend. No, I'm trying. I'm trying. You and Curtis were trying to get Tess out of Kuwait when her husband showed up at the airport. He pulled a gun, but Curtis shot first. And by then, I was hysterical. I was screaming at Buck to take off. I had off. the helicopter engines running full throttle, but ready to go. I am the one that told him that we had to save ourselves. But wait, Curtis wait, wait just a second. I there. want to talk to Buck alone. Please. 
Why did you leave Curtis behind? I made a choice. Without thinking of the alternatives? Just, just without thinking. I mean, I just... Stacy, there are no excuses for that. What about reasons? Give me some reasons, Buck. It all happened so fast. I mean, we heard the police sirens. I yelled at Curtis to get in the chopper. He just stood there. He didn't even move. He just kept staring at Tess's husband lying on the ground. Tess was hysterical. The police were moving in. I, I, I made a decision. I took off. Why didn't you tell me this before? I don't know. I just... What? I just hoped it'd go away. Go away? Like a bad dream? Do you know what it's like? Do, do you know how it feels to hear this from someone else? Look, why have you been lying to me? Going to leave. Going to... Curtis! Curtis, what is he doing? It's okay. It's okay. Hey, get him some water. Now. It's all right. It's all right. Eat. 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 What is this? God, Curtis. Oh, my God. Curtis. There's your father. Are you all right? Huh? You've been looking everywhere for you. Yeah. You're right here. I can't believe it. Are you okay? Dante, he's got Dino. You gotta find him. Okay. Yeah. Right, we'll find him. Yeah. Yeah. Tompkins. He's unconscious on the sidewalk. His car's gone too. You stupid jerks! You guys were supposed to be protecting him! Knock him! What are you doing? Stop Where it. is she? Hey, you gotta you find her! You gotta find her! Find her! Where he is! Call the doctor! Get a paramedic right away! Just calm down. Hey, Curtis! 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 Brought you the TV listings from the paper. I'm on my way home. Well, drive carefully. I just thought I'd stop by to see if you needed anything. Nope. Have a nice night, Doc. Well, now, come on. What happened to Dirty Harry, who was jumping out of his bed just a few moments ago? Quit. You were right. My leg's not working, and I'm not working. I can't help anyone stuck in here. You've helped my son. And I want to thank you for spending time with him. Sleep well. And have good dreams. I'll see you tomorrow. Stacy, I didn't lie to you. No, but you kept the truth from me. It has nothing to do with us. Buck, what is this? Your idea of a healthy relationship based on selective information? What else have you done that has nothing to do with us? Stacy, I'm sorry, but I just no, thought don't if I didn't... say you're sorry. After all the time that we've spent together, talking with, with, with Trucker, with Dinah Lee about Curtis, and you've kept this from me? You didn't tell me about this? I didn't think you'd understand. You didn't give me the chance. Dante has been holding Curtis captive at Dinley's apartment. Curtis? No, it can't be. I don't understand. And Dinley's missing. Now, the police have men at the airport, bus station, train stations. They'll never catch him. Dante has planned this very carefully. He'll fly out. How? We have all the airports covered. Sure, he's got a small plane stashed somewhere. We need a longer airstrip to take off from here. Especially in this weather. Because the wind's coming in from the northeast. Oh, damn, I, I 
I think I know exactly the place. Toasted cheese on pumpernickel with coleslaw from the deli. Sorry, I didn't order anything from the deli. Look, man, I got a toasted cheese out here, and I don't know what to do with it. Freeze! FBI! Hey, hey, what is this? Get your hands up! Up over your head! Turn around, face the wall. Face the wall, grab it. Grab the wall. All right, spread your legs. Spread them! Are hey, you making a mistake? Shut up. I'll tell you when I make a mistake. This is the end of the road for you, pal. Because I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Now, where's Dante Partool? Who? Dante. You know who he is. I don't know who you're talking about. We know you work for him. We found Curtis. Talk I, to me. I'm telling you, I don't know who you're talking about. Put your hands behind your head. <laughs> Get your hands behind your head. Lock your, lock your fingers. Lock your fingers. <laughs> All right. Now, before I arrest you, all proper-like, and read you your rights, you're going to tell me exactly where Dante Partu is. And I'm telling you one more time, I do not know who you're talking about. No, I really don't want to mess up this jacket of yours. I'm going to give you five seconds to tell me everything you know. You now have four seconds. Three. Two. Pilot will be here shortly, Dinah Lee. And then we will be on our way home. You will love my country. We have none of this disgusting cold, and we'll be far away from this weary, dreary place. I will make you a promise. As soon as we arrive in my country, <laughs> I will carry you over the threshold of your new home. Hey, come on. Come on, come on. <coughs> Try and take a mouthful of this. Come on, a little bit. It must be something else I could have told Alex. Hey, you, you did everything you could. What if, what if it's not enough? What if they can't find Dinah Lee? It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Just take it easy right now, okay? Jeremy's gone to find Tess. Alex trying to track down that Malcolm guy. Your dad's gone back to the house to get your mom. They're gonna meet us at the hospital, okay? I, I don't need to go to the hospital. Hey, come on, come on. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. The ambulance is on its way. We just gotta wait a few minutes. Just try and relax now. I never said where he was taking Dinah Lee. He was panicked. I, I don't think he thought he'd have to move so fast. Okay, well, maybe he'll make a mistake. I should have gotten a gun from him. I should... Listen. Come on. Come on. Just sit back, would you? Just stay here. Thanks. It's okay. been a good friend of Dinah Lee. I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, we've, we've been friends for a long time. So I'm, I'm sorry, man. This has been so rough on you being cooped up in here, I'm sure. I got out once. For a minute. You did? What happened? I didn't make it. Dante got me, put me back in. I'm really sorry you had to go through all this, man. He's not gonna win. No one's gonna take my wife away from me. Ever again.